Sen The most annoying videographer in the world. It's Deanna, Deanna, the most annoying videographer in the world. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Here, we, here we are at the airport. Mm -hmm. Here we be. At the first leg of our trip. First leg. It's nice and peaceful. No chairs. No chairs. Well, you fly, one outlet. You know, you fly Air Tran. This is what you get. Yeah. Cheapo. I'm here, and I am feeling a little bit at peace because the rain stopped. We woke up, and we thought that we would not be able to, I don't know, we thought we might have to drive to Atlanta, but I'm excited. I'm so excited. I can't believe that we've come this far um, in this unplanned adoption. I'm so curious to see what this adventure brings. Um, a little bit worried about the kids, but I have made a decision in my mind to not cry and worry and to just look at it as a fun adventure. So what do you, how do you feel about um, the fact that our other children are like yeah. at home and we're going to be on the other side of the earth from them? Fantastic. <laughs> you are so bad. No, I'm playing, I'm playing, no. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about it. Um, but they're, they're great kids and with a little supervision. We did hire a babysitter, right? Here we are again. Yes. Who, who, who thunk it? Who it? I oftentimes call this an unplanned adoption. Tell me your thoughts on, on it. Everything with God is unplanned. One day he knocks on your door and says, Oh, by the way, there's this orphanage in Ukraine that needs a window. Oh, and oh, by the way, uh, you need to find them toys. And oh, by the way, we're just going to have the toys magically appear in these huge boxes on your driveway. And oh, by the way, there's a birthday inscribed on a side of one box that happens to coincide with a little orphan in said orphanage. And one thing leads to another, and here we are setting off on the adventure yet again. This is really a chance of a lifetime, and the fact that we get to experience this is so awesome, and that we get to carry the name of mom and dad and to a little boy who's probably been wanting that is amazing. So we're just looking forward to what this adventure is going to be. Okay, you need to understand that I've been working so hard at my job accruing these hours so that I could have a paid vacation for two weeks. And so finally being free of work for two weeks, I consider a vacation. It doesn't matter whether I'm sitting at home or it doesn't matter where I am, what I'm doing. It's a vacation in my mind, okay? It, it, including the fact that we're going to adopt. The adoption thing may not feel like a vacation, but going to Ukraine is. Absolutely, no question. I think it is. Oh, I, I love going to, to other countries and seeing other cultures. Yeah, that's our luggage. We almost left with somebody else's luggage. See this one? This is mine. The rest, hers. That's not true. Hi there. Get you every time on it. Yeah, well, you know, with this beard. Yeah. I know. We, we kind of messed up a little bit. You'll have to buy that. Maybe you can grow a beard while you're over there in Ukraine. When do we get to the magic? <laughs> We're not going to Disney World. What did she say? Yeah, a Christian worship service. That's not what I think. Worship service at 12 o'clock noon in the airport chapel located on the third floor of the Atrium. Anyway, on to less important things. 
personally, I think that they should find a way to make a more attractive fanny pack. Um, and I'm noticing... The beauty is in the person wearing it I'm here. I'm noticing that they're not as much in style. I'm hoping that when we go over to Eastern Europe that this will be like the trend, like everybody's wearing them. We're not so small, we're all there. We're not going to Disney World. Your finger's over the lens. No, it's not. No, it's not. Pig Nigeria. No, it's a pig from Nigeria. A Nigerian pig in yeah, play. Over here we have Dr. Faust. I'm not Elmo. I'm not Elmo. I'm Elmo's ugly cousin. Hey. <laughs> I'm Elmo's ugly cousin. A Campbell Soup mouth puppet. My name is... Who is the most annoying person in the whole airport? It's Deanna, the most annoying videographer in the world. Scary puppets. Puppets are scary. Like clowns? Yes, clowns and puppets are scary. So are videographers. What? <laughs> so are videographers. Really? You have something to say about that? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. What? It's Deanna, the most annoying videographer <laughs> in the world. In the world? I thought it was just the airport. <laughs> <laughs> You've improved. See, that's a... Oh, where do we go? We're trying to Skype. Why are you videoing or Skyping? Because I'm trying to. Because you're Deanna, the most annoying <laughs> videographer in the world. It's the phone, Deanna. I'm trying. Why don't we see you? Okay, Andrew, we're waiting. We're leaving in two hours. Not be about me. It's not about me. And who are you? Who's the most annoying videographer in the world? It's Deanna, Deanna, the most annoying videographer in the world. Cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha. <laughs> Hi-ya. Support the buying anything for ourselves. We just have to get off it. Any thoughts before you board? How do you? No, I'm just excited and I want to get on with it. Me too, I'm excited too. I love Paris in the springtime. Who's the most annoying videographer in the world? <laughs> it's moi, et moi. It's her. The most annoying videographer in the world. It's Diana, it's Diana, that's her. <laughs> <laughs> More used that, that was the French Chevalier. version. Four, four, four. Do you realize that we have like just 12 hours to learn Russian? <laughs> Who's we? Why do you think I brought you on this trip? I have a little book, that's it. That's how we're going to learn our Russian. Good luck with that. Russian phrases for children. Okay, what does that say? Because my eyes are blurred from An laughing. adoption language tool for English-speaking parents. Russian phrases for children handbook by Fred Deschamps. He's French. We'll have to point to the book. Annoying. <laughs> that's me. Okay, so we will be working to learn this. Turn it, is it no on? No rest is for it, me until I learn how is to say on? Look, here's her booklet. Look how thick it is. <laughs> she won't be speaking much. So this is it. We're about to take off to Paris and then Ukraine. It's going to be about 12 hours altogether and it's been a really fun day so far. A beautiful day. So about four or five days I'm speaking French. We're about 12 hours to learn Russian. Um, which is not going to be easy, but it's so exciting. It's, um, this one quote from Mother Teresa, it says, I love this, it says, the biggest disease today is not leprosy or tuberculosis, but rather the feeling of being unwanted. And I think that's very, very true. I think that for me, my concern is that my little boy is I'm claiming him and all of these children 
that may be diseased, that may have special needs, that may have flaws, that may have problems, that may be so far from being perfect. Um, they're just unwanted in our world and they're discarded. And it's a greater disease than any of their actual diseases. Yeah,